Hey, Matt. Hey, Shiny. How are you today? I'm unlimited mintage, but I come in a nice red box and a capsule. I'm unlimited mintage too, and I just come in a flip. I cost £350, so I'm worth so much more than you are. Well, I know I'm shiny, but I cost only £240, so you can have one of me and one of my little friends, the Half Sovereign, also shiny, for the same price. So what we're looking at today, for the first time, is the brand new Royal Mint Matte Finish BU Sovereign. So this is not a proof sovereign, it's not a bullion strike either, it's a special finish, specially minted sovereign in a nice box with a COA. There are 20,000 of them in this nice box with a COA. But what they don't say on the COA is that the actual authorised limit for these coins is in fact unlimited. So uh, it's a little bit disingenuous and uh, I think the Royal Mint should be, you know, certainly hauled up for that. Um, you know, I, I phoned them up and spoke to them about it and in fact they probably didn't even have it on the website. I had to ask them whether there was a mintage limit for this coin and they said no. But this is apparently, according to the Royal Mint, the first time since 1902 there has been an official matte sovereign. The fact is that 1902 there was a matte proof. This one is um, actually a really, really nicely finished coin with its matte surface. I think they've done a good job on it, but it's not a proof coin and it's not a coating over the circulation coin finish in the same way as the 1902 coin was. It's actually, you know, almost like a sandblasted matte finish, which I think shows off the luster and suits the coin much better than the more recent um, shiny finishes, which you've seen on so many sovereigns. This does give it an air of quality about it that the regular sovereign doesn't have. The, the mint price of this coin is around about £350. A, a regular sovereign, bullion sovereign, will set you back about £240, £250. Is it worth £100 more? You will have to answer that for yourself. I can't answer for you. A lot of people on the forum are buying these. Quite a few have come in for grading, so it's certainly popular. Is it a moneymaker or a flipper? I personally don't think so, but it may be one that you would like still to have in your collection. Let me know what you think of the Matt Sovereign 2019 and uh, please like, subscribe and comment particularly about this coin and whether it is desirable or worthwhile.